Hi, welcome back to Growing Up Catholic Dash's Loving Touch. My name's Elaine, and I am your host for today <laughs> and with every video. Um, oh, there goes the ums. Oh, so look at my hair. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, can't get to the hairdressers, but that's okay, that's not important. Uh, I am who I am. You see who I am. Um, we're all in isolation. My family's in quarantine because I was showing symptoms of the um, COVID-19 virus. Uh, I don't believe I have it. I'm prone to bronchitis and there's other viruses and colds going around right now. So, <clears throat> but we need to all play it safe and do what we need to do. So on my doctor's orders, I am quarantined. Not allowed, well, and we're, we're all not allowed to socialize, or we shouldn't be if we want to stop the virus. Well, right now I, you know, here in Canada, it's really spreading. So we all need to be aware and do what the um, the government and the public health you know is telling us so we're home anyway um, I did promise another story today so I'm going to tell you a story um, what really happened when oh, my kids were young. I was going to tell the story about my dad and my grandparent, my no-no and no-na. Um, and um, I mean, it involved with Al Capone and uh, <laughs> a, a story and my grand my no-no. I never called him no-no. I ca just called him grandpa. And how he was um, um, incarcerated. I can't say. He was in a, I forget what they're called, a holding area um, during the World War II because he was a tie-in and his family I mean, and my Nona and him were very active in an Italian group. Long story made short, he was accused of, he was accused of being a spy. That's an interesting story, but I will tell it later hopefully the next video but today I just want to give you some encouragement and hope and I've been praying about which story to tell you all true stories and so I I think this will um, hopefully calm some of your fears and and in knowing that God hears you and and that you can know that God speaks to you in your heart. So this one day, um, we had a very sick daughter and she had a heart condition. She was born with a heart problem. Uh, we didn't know it until she was about four and a half when things really went downhill and everything made sense back then. You know, like it finally made sense what was happening. She was one of five in the world. The other four had died at the time. Um, and her story I will tell later. But anyways, during all that was going on, we had no money. I was, I was a nurse and my husband he was working but it was during a time of recession and everybody was suffering 
And so I was just, you know, praying, you know, Lord, uh, we have four kids at the time and we need, I need money for food. I, I think there was just, I don't know, a little bit of milk and whatever in our fridge. So anyways, um, I had very much learned to trust God. We all have experiences in our life. We all have stories to tell. And, um, you know, where God comes swooping in to save the day. So this is where God swooped in. He doesn't always answer our prayers, but he helps us get through it. So this one day I was just, um, I don't know, I was doing dishes and the kids were playing in their, in our, um, well, playroom kind of, but it, no, it wasn't a done up playroom. It was just a room with toys. So I was at the, at the sink and washing dishes and I was just asking God, please God, you know, you blessed Dave and I with these beautiful children and, um, you know, I just said, God, I know you know. So as I was just uh, praying and looking outside because there was a window and above the sink. God started speaking to me and he said, Elaine, I don't want you to worry. Um, in the mail today, you will receive a check for $348.51. And I was like, okay, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. And if this is your voice speaking to me, then it will come to be. If not, then I will just continue to do what I'm doing and know that you will provide. So I just, you know, thanked him and, you know, I was very aware that that could have been my desire talking to me, God, or the other side. Don't like to give him too much credit, the other side. So anyways, two hours later, the mailman came and um, so I opened it up. There was a mail, uh, there was a letter from the government and I'm going, oh man, we owe money or something. Everything was always, you know, financially um, hard, especially when we had to pay hospital bills and things like that in the United States. Um, sick Children's Hospital in Michigan had seen one case of what Mary had and uh, Canada had never had a case. So we were sent to Sick Kids in Michigan and um, at the time we had OHIP insurance but they only paid 40%, so we had to pay the extra 60. Needless to say, we lost everything. But that's for another story, too. <laughs> All these teasers, eh? But anyways, so the mail came, and there was a letter from the government, and I'm thinking... <sighs> but as I opened it, it was a letter saying that we that they had gone over our, our taxes and um, that we, that the government owed us this money and it was for the exact amount to the penny that the Lord had told me. 
Oh my gosh, I ran through the house and I was praising God and picking my kids up and kissing them and, you know, my husband. We were just so excited and jumping around and everybody got dressed and we went to the grocery store. <laughs> oh, you know, we bought what we needed and uh, banked the rest. At that time, that money was a lot. You know, like, but we kept it for groceries. And that's what we did. And that was a miracle. Because God is good. And even in the hard times, like even now, when everybody is out of work because of this virus and uh, people are scrambling and worried and upset. It will work out. We will be fine. You will get groceries. But don't panic. Buy. Just buy what you need. We're living in a, a time that's um, we've never been through before, a pandemic. And our, our governments are trying very hard to keep it in check. But everybody has to listen and do what they're saying so that it can be the minimum of spread instead of the maximum. So, God is good. There were times that I've been on my, sitting on my floor crying because we were so desperate. But here we are. God brought us through so many times. So I'm here to say to you in this um, troubled time, do not fear. Just trust. Just go about your life in your home. <laughs> and hopefully our communities are helping each other. I know we did before I came down with this virus, cold, whatever. Um, we were making sure that the neighbors, the elderly neighbors were okay and um, single, fa sing, you know, single family members. Um, so it, it, that's the thing to do and I'm, I'm loving what people are doing. I'm loving how people are stepping out to help others. We have all been... Um, just pummeled with negativeness with a lot of things that were going on in, in our countries and that kind of left everybody feeling down and you know and gave others the permission to do the wrong things but now through this virus we are seeing the good hearts, the loving hearts. We are seeing the hope and the joy of living in a time where people are angels, angels to their community. As a nurse, I know um, all those who are in the front lines trying to care and fight against this virus so be good be good to your communities be good to your health systems and and be kind when you go shopping grocery shopping or however you do it just be kind and thoughtful you know whether you believe in god or not he is watching. I know 
And as I tell stories, um, you will see why I know because of the experiences I've had. So I'm going to end this now and I'm going to keep praying. I know a lot of people say, oh, what does prayer do? Prayer does a lot. And that's just talking to God, telling him your feelings. You know, being honest with God, you know, is the right thing because God knows your thoughts anyways. I mean, there are many times I was, um, um, you know, why God or why aren't you swooping in? But we make it. And he gives us the strength in our struggles. So as you struggle, as you try to get through this time in our, our world's life, just know you're going to make it. And things will right itself again. Just be hopeful. Be kind, thoughtful. And talk to God. Okay, this is Elaine saying God bless you. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll get another video out in about three days. And I will do the story of my, my grandfather. And um, okay, God bless. Ooh, virtual kiss. You can't get sick on that. I love, oh, I almost said I love you. Okay. I love you. God bless. Bye.